Hi everyone, I'm Feet Touched, and this is me playing games. Specifically, this is me playing a Christmas Carol, and she's a pump. And it does not follow the traditional Christmas Carol story, which I figure you guys would, uh... <laughs> yeah, she's a little bit sad. Yeah, I, I figured you guys could kind of figure out that it wasn't even close to the normal thing, but okay. So let's get back into it. Last time I remember we were trying to get a ring away from the evil Scrooge on Scrooge's shoulder that he stole from the ring box before young Scrooge could propose to his love. And that's why they didn't get married. Yes, the ring is melted too. I don't know, let's figure this out. Continue. Right. Oh, we're in the bell tower. We hadn't looked in this room yet. Okay, see, here's the melted ring. We also have a feather, a horn, a blue snowflake, some candy, the melted ring, smithy instructions, stained glass pieces, and an empty bucket. Let's see what else we can find. Flower. We're going to cook something. A bird decoration is missing. I'm pretty sure you could still use the teapot if the bird decoration was missing. Okay. There's a boar. Ah, here's the smithy. And a paddle. I can use tongs to take the ring out of the fire when I'm done smelting. Oh, where's the instructions? There we go. There's the instructions. So I need a form and I need to put unmelted ore into the form, and then I take the ring out. I don't think that's how that works. I do not have a new mold. I wonder if that's what the flower is for. The wreath is not the best pendant for the bell, is it? I mean, it's already got a clapper in there. Why is that like that? Nope, I don't have any cutting things. I've never been on this side of the clock. That would be pretty cool, I have to say. Wait, did that just change? I think that's one of the changey things I'm supposed to find. Don't exactly get this. I don't see anything else in here that I need to do. Yeah, it's a penguin. Right. I thought we needed a snow shovel though. Yes. What is that? A monogram. Oh, there was a bag or something that needed a monogram. I should come here later. I think it was in here. Yes. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> okay. Pine cone, chisel, three chess pieces, a cherry, holly, a bronze angel, domino, scissors, snowflake, hot chili pepper. Okay. Need a heart. Uh, what is this? It's only half the brooch. Ah, there's the other half. That's very pretty. Okay. Chess pieces. I forgot what I'm looking for already. Pine cone, chisel, and chess pieces. Pine cone. Snowflake. Pine cone. Chess piece. There's a pen. I thought I needed a pen. Oh, there's the Russian doll. Normally, Russian dolls have you know, more dolls inside of them, but that's fine. I need another chess piece, holly, cherry, and a bronze angel. Holly. Oh wow, it's not the right color. Uh, da -da. I was thinking the other day, I'm not sure how you would play these games if you were colorblind, because there is a lot having to do with color in these games. Scissors and a hot chili pepper. I need a bird. I guess. I never really thought about it before. I'm looking for things and I'm not actually looking for them. Wow, they have two uh, compasses. Focus. There we go. I haven't eaten dinner yet. I just had a snack, but I am a little bit hungry. So my mind is slightly wandering. Where are the chili peppers? Ch hey, look, there's a teddy bear floating in the air. Look, there's another one. This is weird. Scissors. Is there other things floating in the air or just teddy bears? I think it's just teddy bears. That's very strange. 
Oh, there's the chili pepper. It's on the nutcracker. Okay, I have a holly. I don't know that I need a holly. Poor flower in the fishbowl. That would be funny. I uh, Oh, the holly goes over here. And I get a sickle and a bag of coal. Yep, a bag of coal. I guess that's to go in the smithy. I think it's got a lot of coal in it, but what do I know, right? I need a mold. Yeah, I know. I haven't figured that part out yet. I need water to cool down the ring. Oh, okay, so I need to get some water from somewhere. Wasn't there a faucet somewhere? Am I making that up? I might be making that up. What else do I have to do over here? Huh. The only thing here is the bird and the wrench. I don't have anything else for here, do I? I can't smelt without a hot furnace. Yeah, I know. I haven't gotten that far yet. I can't smelt without a hot furnace. What else am I supposed to do up here? Oh, this thing. I already forgot because it doesn't make a lot of sense. Now I can ring the bell, but it won't let me. A plaster wreath. Oh, and I got all the uh, stained glass window pieces for the stained glass Santa Claus in the church. That's a new one. Are these supposed to be candles? How does this work? Move the candles to the cake, matching the colors to the right box. Oh, matching the colors to the right box. You must move the candles using the arrow box, which hooks them together like a train, like train cars. You'll need to rearrange the order of the candles. Press the points between the candles to unhook them from each other. Use the moving door to rearrange them. Press the circle button on the right to flip the door. Well, those are the most complicated and uneasy directions I've ever been a party to. Okay. Okay. Um, so if I click on, I can only click on this one. And wait. Bizarre. I don't want that one. What on earth? Okay. Um, what? Move the candle. Yeah, I got that part. You must move the candles using the arrow box. Got that part. You'll need to rearrange the order of the candles. Press the points between the candles to unhook them. Got that. Use the moving door to rearrange them. Does anyone else understand what on earth I'm supposed to be doing here? Like, do I have... No, you stay over there. No, stop it. I have no idea what's happening either. We're, we're going to... Did it make more sense? Like if I do it like this? No, that doesn't make any more sense either. Yeah, no, I'm good. We're, we're good. Look, we fixed the Santa stained glass window, which is actually a door. To the outside of the church. A peaceful alley back in the days when my uncle was young and still happy. Okay. Ah, more shoveling. Okay. Now I have a brick. And somebody chained a wheel? Someone's atta quite attached to this wheel. That's a little bit weird. No, stop that. What's this? I think I'd like to remove that. Sure. Do I have a screwdriver? Nope. Yeah, Santa and Christmas and church is not really done right. That's an elaborate lock befitting the museum door. Actually, I'm going to have a rant for a second. So uh, when I used to work in a gift shop, we had this one line that was all Santa's. 
And one of the big Santa things that always came up was it was a picture of Santa kneeling next to baby Jesus or like a figurine. And the problem with that is Santa's not real. But if you are a Christian, Jesus is real. So with that particular image, you are saying that either Santa is real or Jesus isn't. So like the mixing of the metaphors there is not only kind of off-putting, but it's also like not good for kids who have no idea what reality is. So don't mix your metaphors. And if you want to do the whole Santa is real thing with your kids, you can. But in the long run, I think that's just going to confuse them and make them think that things are real that aren't supposed to be real. So there's my rant. This is weird. Look at all this water, free for the taking. <laughs> it's a pond! That bucket doesn't have a handle. That's a little bit weird. See, it's okay to... Santa's not a bad thing. Like, Santa in and of itself, we as... My family as kids, Santa was kind of like Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny was real, but he wasn't real. He was a cartoon. Santa's real. It's a thing. He, he exists as a concept, but he's not a person that comes to your house. Like, that, trying to get kids to believe that that's real, and then when they get older, trying to get them to believe things that are real, that really are real, and that they should listen to you even though they've, you've been lying to them for years, it's kind of just a bad idea. And I am a Christian and believe in God, so just so we're on that side of things. I just think the whole Santa comes to your house in reality is not a good thing to teach kids. This box deserves my attention, otherwise it wouldn't be locked. I suppose so. I like that the sound of the water falling stopped as soon as I got water out of the thing. Ding. Free water. <laughs> Wait, where am I supposed to? Oh, the water's supposed to go up here. Okay, that's that. This is a rock. I can use this for a mold. You just need to chisel out the form. Do you know how hard that is? Also, I don't have a chisel. So that's gonna be even harder. Right, and I have a plaster wreath. Why do I need a plaster wreath? Is there something down here that needed a wreath? Oh, I still need to cut that. I still don't have anything to cut with. Yeah. Oh, this little angel needs a head wreath for some reason. It kind of looks like Bacchus, but whatever. Bronze buckle. This game has some weird items. Wait, what's a triangle? Oh, that's to move to the next level. <laughs> I knew that. There was a bag in here, right? Yep. Let's see, a chisel and a hammer and flint and steel. Both of those things I need. Start the fire. Okay, that's kind of started the fire. And I guess now I'm gonna make Wait, what else do I need? Oh. I mean, I will grant you could probably split a rock in half generally easily if it was the right kind of rock. There's no way I'm gonna be able to carve out a perfect ring. You, you need to do the other half too, okay. And I mean, this looks really hard. You'd have to do two perfect circles right across from each other. That would be really hard. And then what you do <laughs> is you put the metal in a crucible and melt it and pour it into the mold. You can't just put the metal on top of the mold and expect it to melt. Um. That, that's not how that works. We got half of it right. Also, that would still be stupid hot. 
Oh, I forgot about him. The new ring is missing a gem, but you can fix that. Go find one in the city museum. Wasn't it just a plain gold ring originally? And now I'm gonna steal something from the museum? Really? The ghost has given me permission to take the gem from the museum. I hope the authorities agree. <laughs> okay, how do I get there from here? Wait, where am I? Stop. Ah! Where's that X button? There it is. How do I... Oh, I must have to go this way? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, I didn't realize that was a museum. That's a very pretty door. This is a weird museum. His headdress is incomplete. Okay. There's a lever missing. Why is that elf hanging from the ceiling? There's a weird robot! The eyes have it. I need to find the code. Bizarre. What is this nonsense? Frame Christmas cards, but one is missing. Yeah, but what is this? The Christmas robot. I... Penguin. I... What is that? A reed pipe. Okay. Why do I need a reed pipe? of this stuff. Oh, he needs a pipe. This one. And this one has a coin. Just cuz. I assume that's to unscrew something. Where did I need to unscrew something? Is it over here? No. It was over here. <coughs> A bird! And a glass cutter! So we can steal stuff. And now we need to put the bird on the teapot so we can open it for some reason. That's not how teapots work. <laughs> Coin screw! <laughs> Alright, so now we have the eyeball puzzle. Because that's not weird. Orange. We're poking its eyes out. Green. <laughs> Yellow, pink, and blue. <laughs> and now we're gonna cut through the glass and steal whatever that lion has, apparently. Which obviously is a priceless gem of. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I forgot about that. King too. of the beasts, you're alive! Um, so we're just gonna leave a big hole in the glass, the lion in a different position, and steal the ruby, and no one's gonna notice that, and no one is especially gonna notice if we put the ruby in a ring and give it to someone. Oh my gosh. All right, well now we have the ring, so I guess we're done here. There's no way I'm letting those disgusting lovebirds get engaged. Oh, wild north wind, I summon thee! The cold is unconquerable. Christmas is no time for joy. It's the dead of winter. Where did they go? Oh, look, they froze to death in a completely different spot. We've got to stop that wind. Scrooge and Belle are right in its path. Quick, the fireworks cannon. That'll do it. Fireworks cannon? Oh, he moves the tree to protect them from the wind. That makes sense. Anybody else remember a fireworks cannon? Oh, there it is. 
The North Wind, how dare you do evil Scrooge's bidding? I mean, we already did. Well, we need a wheel, which we already know where that is. And some Christmas trees. Right, let's go get the wheel, I guess. This game is so weird. Wait a minute. Is still supposed to be here? What else is here? I, I knew that! Um, but thank you for, for um, reminding me. This is not, in fact, any of the ways the Christmas Carol book goes. Uh, this is all kinds of bizarre. I can't position it properly without the wheel. I don't need to be here. Where do I need to be, though? None of the places. Let's go back over here. I do need to be there. What am I supposed to do over here? I don't have anything yet. Three locks, three trees, and a lot of snow. Oh, I've got a freaking shovel of snow. And I got a cash register handle. Does that make sense? My favorite part of the book that never gets put in movies is that there's an entire section about Scrooge's lost love about how she got fat and super hot after ditching him. <laughs> really? Oh, I have to make 11, I guess. Two, four, that's it, six. There we go. She got super hot because she got fat or she got fat and super hot. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Good to know, I guess. Ooh, pliers. Wire cutters, that's what I meant. All right, so we can finally get whatever this is that someone wired to a wreath in the church. It's a Christmas card. Why would you wire that to anything? I can't imagine it would, no. Somebody stole it from the museum. Look, we put it back. Um. Okay. Designed this place. Also, what the heck is that? That we just stole. A wing. We just stole a wing. I guess for the angel. Why did the museum have the angel's wing from the church? Why did I just get jingle bells? What the heck am I gonna do with jingle bells? Oh, this I can use to get the wheel. You only need to cut it once, but that's fine. A cord jingle bells. Oh wait, does this go on this? Yes, okay. And another Christmas tree and a torch. A ramrod. Okay, that makes more sense. I don't think we have any, like, ammunition though. Unless there's a cannonball in there already. Oh, we need fireworks. It's blocked with snow. Okay, well that I can fix. Okay. And we definitely do not have any fireworks. We have some cord. And flour. I wonder if that's what this is. There is a ton of gunpowder at the bar. I forgot about that. Alright, hammer, globe, knife. Carrot, gloves, boomerang, fan, corkscrew, chalk, and firework. Yeah, okay, there's the firework. There's just one little dinky firework, but that's fine. Hammer, globe, knife. There's a globe. There's a star in the balloon. Something to pop the balloon. Sometimes I pop balloons just for fun. It's real nice. Hammer, knife, carrots, glove, boomerang. Get out of the way. Gloves. And a tape measure and a dart 
and a popper. I also don't know exactly how shooting fireworks at the wind is going to help us. Corkscrew. Christmas tree. Mitten. What am I looking for? Hammer. Glasses. I don't know what that is. That's a cool instrument. Knife, carrot, boomerang, fan, and chalk. Is that chalk? Yes, yeah, or cannons at hurricanes, which is even better. Like back in the old days where they used to shoot cannons at the sky to make it rain. Oh, there's a carrot. That used to be a thing. It, it didn't work, in case you didn't know that. And what is that for? Oh, full piggy bank. Oh, are there supposed to be coins like all over the place? Yes, there are. Okay. The pin. Oh, to pop a balloon. Pop. And a star. Okay. A fan, a boomerang, and a knife. A There's a boomerang. There's a fan. Where's the knife? Is that the knife? No. There's a knife. Oh, wow. I did not see that. I should have. That was blatantly obvious. Okay. We're just gonna... That is a really big firework. We missed. <laughs> This is incredible. The past has changed for the better. Bizarre. Okay, so I guess we, uh... Oh. <clears throat> Hello there! I'm the ghost of Christmas present. It was good of you to change your uncle's past, but the present is still... Uh, it's a wreck! See that? Scrooge's clerk, Bob Cratchit, sent your uncle a letter asking for help. But that naughty little Scrooge got in the way. <coughs> Amber, you almost made me do a spit take. <laughs> you better find that letter. Tiny Tim's life is on the line if Scrooge doesn't get it in time. Oh my, listen to me rhyme. Say, you better hurry! Okay. Why don't I just give the envelope to Scrooge? Oh, because part of it's missing. Okay. No, 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 bad Scrooge. The devil won. He intercepted the letter. See. It's a kitty cat! I don't mean to be rude, but I have to wake up this cat. Good luck with that. He's a rabbit. Get him a carrot and he'll follow me anywhere? What? This was the moment that changed the course of history. I can't get the kitchen door open. That didn't used to be a door either. I guess? Unless he, like, ended up with some sort of fever or something. And here is Belle. Or should I call her Aunt Belle? This will take some getting used to. But I'm glad for the struggle. I can't do this justice without all the blocks. Okay. Santa's trying to cast light on something. Did the cat knock off one of the balls? Oh, probably. Cats and Christmas trees do not get along well together. All right. There's no door there. This must be Scrooge's revised family portrait. I I'll repair it to see how things have changed. There, there was a door here. The house didn't change. I'll need some more yarn to finish this. That's weird. For a second I thought that was a cake, but now that's like a jewelry box. I'm sure Scrooge won't mind me accessing his private chamber. I mean, maybe. 
And didn't he used to climb out the window and get in trouble as a little kid? Did that change too? I don't understand. Outside of the house looks pretty much the same. I'll put Cratchit's letter here to make sure my uncle receives it. You could just hand it to him. Okay. What are we supposed to be doing? Alright. So I have a letter, I have a coin, I have a flower for some reason. Oh. Am I really going to do that to the cat? That's mean. And that cat is still happy with me? Lies. Aw, oh, let me get you some milk as an apology for the rude awakening. Sure. Why do I Oh, I need yarn for up here. Okay, there's the picture. I believe this picture shows various endings for Scrooge's life. I should choose the best. Okay. That's creepy. As is that. Wow, interesting. Hey, I want to see what all these choices are. I'm sure I've changed this future to prevent this from happening. Okay, so now we got the evil Scrooge alone with his gold. All right, what else? You'd think all of them would be in order. What? That's not quite right. I'm sure Scrooge and Belle are together with children and their house isn't burnt down. Ooh, let's do the red one. I don't think the red one is right either. Boy, those kids giggling is stupid creepy. <laughs> yeah, right? Scrooge and Belle might have been happy without children, but I think they had two. How do you know that? Oh boy, this looks wrong. Look, look, in this one they pretend to have kids. <laughs> right, so, so we did the red one, we did the green one with the gold, we did the one with the kid. Okay, so then we have to do the last one. Yeah, it is! Those kids sound evil! I do not like that. I don't like yeah. In this revised version of his life, my uncle married Belle and they had two children. So I have two cousins now, I guess. Huh. That'd be weird. I mean, I have a bunch of cousins, but it would be weird like if all of a sudden you had an aunt and cousins that you didn't have before. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. My, my, we were at a restaurant and kid three was like five and we were eating and he ate a french fry and then he looked up at us and he goes daddy's gonna die first and then went right back to eating and my husband and i were like what <laughs> so yeah that was a thing that happened with my kids kids are creepy what is that looks like a possessed doorknob i mean he's three years younger than me but yeah guys usually don't last as long Let's see. Someone's not the best housekeeper. Ugh. Oh, I get to make a cookie. I like cookies. The tea set is one piece short. Really? I know how to make cookies. All it takes is flour and eggs. No, it doesn't. That's never mind. You need more things than flour and eggs to make cookies. Sugar is usually important, for example. You can make pie dough with flour and eggs, but that's not even the right recipe for that. Also, that cookie cutter is upside down. Um, we're putting salt on it. Maybe it's a pretzel? Cookie? Why does the oven look angry? 
I'm cold. Please turn up the heat. That was not what I was expecting to happen. My stomach's growling. I need to eat. Okay, demonic stove. Please don't eat me. A watched cookie never bakes. Okay. Why is that stove alive? <laughs> I need a key. Okay. Um I I don't know. I don't know. Oh look, that's cute. What's that? Oh, that's another piece of the thing. Okay. Bizarre. All right, let's see. Pepper grinder, garlic, three lumps of sugar, the letter P, grapes, scroll, mushroom, saucer, corn, cheese, and a butterfly. Okay, so we need, oh, there's some cheese. A pepper grinder, three lumps of sugar, and some garlic. Here's the garlic, here's the sugar. Here's the P. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Oh, here's the other snowflake. Stop that. There we go. Okay. There's a mouse. Oh, what was that? Well, whatever that was, it was behind the mouse. There's a butterfly. Oh, there's a sugar. Uh, let's see. I need one more. There's a Santa. Uh, I had pepper grinder, lump of sugar, grapes, and a mushroom. And a mushroom. Oh, there's a sugar. That looks good, whatever that is. Uh, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like fruitcake with frosting. Not a big fan of fruitcake. I know some people like it, but I am not a fan. Pepper grinder. Grapes. A saucer and corn. There's the corn. Is that the saucer? No. I don't know what that is. Oh, saucer, like a milk saucer, not a saucepan, which is what my brain was saying. Right, um, I guess the cookie's not done yet. Okay, um, well I have a saucer for your milk, but I don't have any milk. Uh, and I have a needle and thread. Hmm. Still need to be in the kitchen, huh? Yeah, I need to find the last piece of that. That I know. Oh wait, can I put the... Oh! I thought that was a saucer for the cat. What is this? An angel key. Huh. Okay. Where did I need an angel key? Is that for the bedroom? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, like his childhood playroom or something was right here. This looks very modern for a Christmas Carol period of time bedroom. I made my uncle happier, but not tidier. Yeah, that's sometimes hereditary. Judging by the picture above, the antlers are missing. What? Move. Move. You're not going to disappear, huh? Fine. Let me try again. Okay, it did have antlers. I don't know. There's the missing Christmas tree ball, and there is one of the snowflakes. Oh, that's pretty. All right. One of the bookends is gone. Oh, that must be the one on the fireplace. Right, so I need a carrot and some horns, apparently. Okay. Wait, what did I get? Oh, I got the Christmas tree ornament. Jacob horns would be awesome because you know. Ram horns would also be pretty cool, though. I don't know. Antlers are kind of overdone. But that might just be me. Here you go, bunny. Have a carrot. Very weird, but whatever. Is 
that all of them? Yes. So now I can put them over here. Well, I mean, it could be like part of the horn. Dear Mr. Scrooge, please forgive this appeal, but I've nowhere else to turn to. Tim is quite ill, and the only thing that will save him is a medicine I can't afford. Would you consider helping us in the spirit of Christmas? Okay, that makes sense. No, 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 no. This is expensive medicines. Or maybe, I don't know. I still don't see why I can't just hand it to him, but whatever. You can't change the past! That's against the laws of nature! Oh, put a sock in it! We're just trying to undo your bad deeds! Yeah? Well, undo this! Oh no! The goblins stole the medicine. Oh wait, we decided they were imps. The imps stole the medicine. Hello, little one. You look like you're freezing. I'll help you. Oh look, it's the little matchstick girl. <laughs> Poor little girl spent all of her matchsticks trying to get warm. Her hands are cold as ice. I could light her on fire. Okay. I can't quite reach it. Do I have anything? No, I don't have anything I can reach stuff with. Watch out for those icicles. They can kill you. Oh, there's a candy. Not the right one, though. This requires a special key. Everything requires a special key. Alright. I think the Cratchit family lives nearby. I assume so. Tiny Tim needs his medicine. Stat! I always wanted to say that. Okay, you've got to trounce those ice gremlins and get Tim's cure. Use this magic projector. But remember, you have to charge it with good deeds. I'm to believe my friendly ghost. The lamp will melt away those imps if I charge it first with good deeds. Yeah. I wonder what's in there. That's a thick rope. I'll have to be creative. About I could light it on fire. No? All right. What kind of treat would you like, Birdie? How about some candy? No, I didn't think so. I need a key. Hmm, someone ripped away half their sheet music. There, there were no pay for newspapers in the Christmas Carol era. <sighs> It'll take something large and tough to snap these icicles. You cry kicking them. I'll chase this one with a lit torch. That would at least get me past the gate. And I should bring Scrooge the pills for Tim before it's too late. Okay, but that didn't give me anything. Oh, wait. You'll be last week's news soon enough, I promise. I just need to charge my lamp. What is that? A fur muff. I think she needs more than that. She's freezing. I'll find something to warm and clothe her. What is this? Oh, she was trying to light those people's music on fire to stay warm. What lovely voices! I know, I just know everything will work out in the spirit of Christmas. And now I have a magnet. Do I need a magnet? 
Um. Hmm. I could coax that out with a magnet, I guess. I do need a magnet. The key is lying at the bottom of the drain. Oh. Can I use that? No. Okay. Hmm. Do I need to go back to the house? Where do I need to be? I'm... Oh! There we go. I knew I was missing something. Ta-da! Oh, I thought that was a shovel. It is a writer's key, which goes where? Nope, that's a sailboat. Is it this one? No. Uh, is that this one? Yes, it is. A writer must live here. Yes. With time at a standstill, I can poke around without being bothered. I know this couple. They've hoped for years to be blessed with children, but haven't been. Oh, well, that's too bad. Lumberjack, you're a nice souvenir, but I'm about to put you to work. Okay. I don't know. I needed a cool writer's key for my office. That would be awesome. Oh, you need the metal from the door. Some keys are missing, because of course they are. I don't know why people have to take pianos apart in these games. Ooh, candy! Those must be the horns. What is this? Why do these, who do these tiny footprints belong to? You're a jerk. Ah, another key. I think there's a backyard through this door. I mean, you could go around, too. So we got the antlers for the... Faye in the closet, or on the closet. That doesn't look like a good, like, dresser ornament. I know what this game is. Wait a minute. Decipher the three-digit code that will open the compartment. Place the numbered tiles in the center and hit the green button to test them. Tiles will show yellow if one of the numbers is right, but the position is wrong. They'll show green if one of the numbers is in the right spot. Green tiles will fill from left to right. If one of them's in the right spot, it has to be the two, but why was it yellow over there? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I have to start over. So you're saying four in the middle? Yeah, you're right. What was the other one? Now hang on one cotton pick a minute. Ha! I got it! Math will not defeat me! Ooh, a coat. I'm stealing this lady's coat. And I'm stealing that dude's hat. Oh, this is Scrooge's stuff. Yeah, I don't care if I steal his stuff. Uh, do I need anything else in here? Oh, what's over here? Nope, that's just his bed. It's messy. Which we already knew. Okay. So let's go give my aunt's fur coat to this little girl. Am I just helping to fill up the thing? That's kind of messed up. She looks warm all she looks warmer already. Another charge for my lamp too. She's too cold to walk. I'll fetch a sled for her. Huh? What do I need a hat for? Or a stock? I could put her a stock. Oh wait, is the stocking? Nope. Okay. Um. Do you want a stocking? Where am I supposed to be now? supposed to be over here. Okay, I don't know what goes there. I need something to cut this. The birdie needs food. 
These people, oh. Just giving away my uncle's stuff. Now they'll be warmed by more than their own voices. Another charge for my lamp. And that goes there, and then a little snowman. Now they look like proper carolers. Okay, and I have a stocking. Why do I need a stocking? He needs a medal. They're sad and lonely, apparently. Do you need a stocking? Wait, what? Oh. I bet you would cut wood if you could. <laughs> Right. Sure. Um, this game is so weird. <laughs> Bizarre. Now we have a Christmas tree and a sled. Where are we taking her to? Just gonna... I... I don't understand. Yes, it is! We did put the child in our pocket. Oh, we're gonna give her to them. Cause that makes sense. That doesn't make any sense. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it would make more sense if time was like in play and we were discussing it with them but they're gonna wake up from time and there's gonna be this orphan child sitting between them <laughs> this game is so weird ooh a bakery I'm so hungry it is dinner time I should eat dinner let's see Giant candy cane, mouse, mask, hourglass, feather, pumpkin, fan, cup, apple, and book. And candy cane, and fan. There's a pie. I could have a pie. A can uh, well, that's not a candy cane, that's a lollipop. I am streaming instead. I just am pointing out that it's probably not the best decision. A book. What am I looking for? Oh, there's part of a sun. Where's the other part? On the gingerbread house. A mouse, a mask, and an hourglass. There's little tiny boots. Why do I need little tiny boots? Chick in boots. Okay. Whatever you say. Hourglass. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, let's see. I need a cup, a mouse, and a mask. That's not a mouse. That's a bear. Cup, a mouse, and a mask. There's a mask. And a cup. That's a mug. And a mouse. Mousy, 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 where are you? Where? Oh, there's the mousy. A candy cane, which I can use to get this. I can. No? But it's a giant candy cane. A few candles would liven up this tree. Does it need a star too? Yes, it does. Does it need a giant candy cane? No. Right. Why do I need a giant candy cane then? Does a birdie want a candy cane? I don't think so. I I don't think that would work, even if it was a big candy cane. Not any better than kicking it anyway. Oh no, he went up the chimney. I thought he was going to jump into the fire. Yiki! Uh, they steal their candle. Poor Tim, he loves Christmas trees, but his family couldn't afford one. Yeah, okay, then he Scrooge is being a jerk still. It's Christmas. 
presents a tree. That's your concern? His health is failing. I've got to get him that medicine. My elder sister Martha is working in a hattery. She makes hats day and dark, and we hardly ever see her. May her stay with us at May her stay with us at his Christmas Eve. What? That was poorly translated. Yeah, that, that was poorly translated. Oh, stocking. There we go. Doesn't have a name on it. Oh, that's what this is for. Yay! And... Okay, but so won't the medicine, won't it? Well, now we can put the candles on the Christmas tree. And we're gonna light the candles because we don't care if they're fire hazard or not. Okay. Uh, yes, good point. Poor little Tyke has a fever. Here, this will bring it down. <laughs> Did he just encase Tiny Tim in ice? As if Tiny Tim hasn't suffered enough. This man has no compassion. But please, don't hang your head low. We can warm his tiny bones again, don't you worry. <laughs> All we need is a winter miracle. A bit of spring. Here, use this. Okay. What is happening? Butterfly, a snowdrop, and a rainbow. Sure. This is not the right key. What is this a key for? The writer's back door. Okay. <laughs> he does. Okay. Um, this is a very weird game, guys. There's a pumpkin scarecrow. Such a blank expression. Well, if I had a knife. Christmas is knocking on every door. I just need to bring holiday cheer to my uncle's home and to Tim's. That's weird. Oh, it's a pupper. The most loyal rescue dog. Why is he stuck in there then? Something, it's something like air guitar, I suppose. Hello. Calm down. All right. I'll get you a treat. He doesn't have any pants. He doesn't have any legs. A torch works best when lit. It also needs stuff in it. You can't just light it. I think I hear people. Ah, oh, yep. I hear people. My family has returned. I could light the squirrel on fire. What else do I need to do here? I don't think I need to light anything on fire here. Wait, can I use the lamp or does it have to be fully charged? No, okay. It has to be fully charged. Right, what am I supposed to do here? What do I need a torch for? Oh. Chase this dude. Okay, that's fair. Wait, time's supposed to be stopped. What are you doing? Also, you should have a hat and mittens on. It's cold out. Here. 
You dead. And someone's banging on my door. Un moment. Yes, I know you're back. Go away, I love you. No, no, out, out, out. Oh, knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, you caught him off guard. He was not prepared. Boo hoo! No! <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, it's a boo. No, he said. I messed that one up. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. It's only a joke. Go away. All of you guys are ridiculous. I love you. You guys drive me crazy. You do understand that, right? Oh no, the ice is cracking. I can't reach her, but a rescuer could. Duh. Oh no, he's in the toy shop window. You're too homely to be on display and you can't hide from me forever. Oh, he probably could. The winter landscape, but one of the inhabitants is missing. It's autumn harvest, but it's not yet complete. In summer, you're sometimes thankful for clouds. Spring is perfect as always. Okay. Right, that didn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring. What do you want? He won't give me the goose for free. Why do I need a goose? What a nice goose that would be perfect feast for the Cratchit family. I'm just gonna steal the other stuff in his house, huh? A pipe, why do I need that? You're supposed to be frozen. I literally stole a gem from a museum when people were frozen before. Okay, why do I need a pipe? Oh, this must be for one of them. That, that's a penguin. That That's a penguin. Why do I have a penguin? Why do I have a penguin? Okay, sure. This game is so weird. You go over here. And now I open the window to make it colder. Globe, dummy, hammer, envelope, acid, spoon, book, penguin, broom, glasses. There's the broom, there's the penguin. There's a globe and a spoon, an acid for some reason. A uh, dummy and a hammer. There's a hammer. I mean, where? This one? I don't know what that means. Yes, what, what's, what's a seed stitch scarf? Oh, interesting. So that would be a very difficult scarf to make then. Ah, fun. I have no idea what any of that means, but I understand that it is knitting related and sounds hard. Okay, that makes sense too. Glasses, there we go, and a book. And where's the other half of that mask? There's one half, where's the other half? There it is. I know it's important to you. Look, I found acid in their backyard. Am I gonna close the window so he doesn't get colder? Nope. What do I need acid for? Oh, for the dog that's freezing to death outside. This is not how acid works. He's a bit too statuesque. He's a dead dog? Oh, it must be like a gravestone. Okay. Man's that makes me best friend. That must. That makes me feel better then. I thought that was like a dog that would keep it in a cage outside. But it's a dog statue, probably over the grave of a family pet. Now we're going to send the stone dog onto the ice to get the little girl.
Okay, good. I thought she was going to stay on the ice for a minute. It could have, yeah. They both went to heaven. <laughs> Ship key. That goes over here. Really? It's Santa! If I didn't recognize this as my own home, I'd think it was Santa's workshop. Wait, you live here? He's missing his tool to finish the carving. Okay. Tell me you lived in a toy shop. I could use the leg on this toy. I just need a screwdriver. Sure. Those are nutcrackers. Actually, I think those are smokers. Smokers are like nutcrackers, but instead of cracking nuts, you put a little cone of incense in them and they look like they're smoking pipes. The tracks are damaged. Keycap bowl. It must be hard to serve alone without a partner. Why is there an arrow there? Oh, a dollhouse. Oh, I want to play in the dollhouse. When I get rich and famous, I want a really cool dollhouse. That is a nutcracker without the cracking part. What did that give me? That gave me a bowl for the cat. Okay. Oh, does this go on here? Oh, nice. Okay. Not even owls can fly without wings. True. All right, let's push his friend over here. Ooh, cool, a castle. Beetle coins, necklace, dart, pin, little elephant, three bolts, orange, orange, candle, whistle, and a thimble. That's a little pi paint pot. A paint pot. Paint pot is a good word. It's elephant. And a screw. And a whistle. A soldier. What else do I need? You're different. Where do you go? A reassembled doll. Where's the bottom half? I don't know where your bottom half is. Ladybug. A necklace. And a mitten. The moon. What else am I doing? Coins. Another screw. Oh, bolts. Well, there's kind of screws. Oh, there's his butt. There we go. A dart, a pin, a bolt, and a candle. There's the last bolt. That was a bolt. That other one looked like a screw because it had a screw top. There's the candle. And there's the dart. And a pin. Pin, 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 pin. Pin. Elephant! Love elephants. They're so cute. I mean, they're gigantic, but they're adorable. It's a baby one. It's magic. Oh, there's the kid's feet. Um... Where was that? I forget where that was. Wait, is that over here? Yes, it's the toy chest. Whoa. That was really hard to steer. Ah! Stop it! Wow, you have to be really decisive. Ah! Oh, that was close! Yay! Wait, what's with the dog?
The dog ate me. How am I supposed to get around the dog? Well, that's not how. Maybe if I come this way. Yeah, no, we're done with that. That is not a fun game. Tick tock, says the clock. The child is ailing. Good is failing. <laughs> You're not getting any Christmas presents this year, my dude. A wood carving set and a squirrel tail. Oh, that's for this. And that must be to crack that. And now we have a nut for the squirrel on top of the snowman. <laughs> there. Have a walnut. Now go away. Happy snowman. What is that? Oh, that's the... No, oh, I don't know what that is, though. An owl's wing. Okay. So there's the owl's wing for the owl, which is over here. Now let's put... Oh. What a hoot! Really? Okay, why do we need an owl, though? Wait. No, I want to go that way. Thank you. There's the snowdrop. That didn't appear to do anything. And... We need a chisel for our dad, maybe? Is Scrooge's brother Santa? He's ready to paint, but has no brush. Okay. What else do I need to do? Oh, the owl must be to get this. And that's for the writer's house. Come on, hurry up. Thank you. There we go. Which goes on this statue. Hey, this dude stole some of the train tracks from my house. Oh, I got a knife. Yay. What can I cut? I know I had some stuff I needed to cut. cut. I can't remember. Oh, I have to cut the pumpkin. We're stabbing a pumpkin. Merry Christmas stabbing. Merry Christmas a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Wait, why, why do I need a jack-o'-lantern? What? Do you want a jack-o'-lantern? No, I didn't think so. Oh, this must be for this. Okay, no, winter, spring, summer, fall. All right, so now I've got the little violin for the gnome. Berries and a duster. Yes, pretty much. Like, a lot of times in these games, you have like a, Oh, I got this! Now I can do X with it! But that is not the case in this game. I need a happy burb. Goodbye, burb! That bird stole my dad's paintbrush. Boy, why is everybody stealing our stuff? Why did you just... Oh, it's... That is 100% a Disney trademarked Pinocchio. Like, they got that asset from actual Pinocchio Disney. One hundred percent. So if this game doesn't exist next time you go looking for it, that's probably why. Wait, where does Pinocchio go? Do you just no, I guess not. Where do I put him? 
Oh, maybe in the stocking. Let go. Thank you. No. Where does the present go? Huh. Maybe I can't use it yet. What was in here? I forget. Oh, I need a key for that. The duster is for my uncle's house, which is very dusty. You could have got that last cobweb. My uncle stole Ding! some of- Your cookies are done now. Get <laughs> him while they're hot. That scared the ever-living crap out of me. <laughs> I did too! Oh my gosh! Higher date! <laughs> no, no, it, it's an alive thing. It's not that it's an alarm. The oven is alive. Oh my gosh. Um, that was the thing that just happened. Hang on. <laughs> Why does everybody have the dude's keys for his piano? Typing is hard right now. Oh, you totally sliced your finger. Are you okay? Each railway must have its very own station master. Do you want it to be Pinocchio? No. Yeah, he he did a really good job on himself. Now that's a generous gift. And this I need a screwdriver for. But okay, there's the piano keys. That I know where they go. They go on the piano. Wait. That took me a minute. What are mittens? Or a sled? Cat. Cat. Tree. Snowman. Reindeer. Toys. Christmas tree. Mittens. Snow? Okay. That was weird. All right, now we go back and do this some more. Winter, fall, summer, and everything melted. Deer, bottle, accordion, diamond, cherries, rose, cane, slingshot, and three cubes. I guess they mean blocks. And a bunny. And a kitty. What am I looking for? A deer and a bottle. It looks like a dragon, but I think it's supposed to be a horse. This is very strange. A lamp. If I rub this, will a genie come out? I don't know. Try it. This cup. This is one of those fancy egg cups. Okay. A bottle. Accordion diamond cherries. That's not an accordion. I want to say it's a concertina. I'm pretty sure. A diamond and cherries. Those are not cherries. There's a rose. There's a diamond. There's a star. I don't need a star. I need a block. There's an egg. Egg. A cane. Let's see. A slingshot. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the rainbow. Okay, what else am I looking for? Cherries and a snowflake. Okay, so cherries. That's holly, not cherries. There's cherries. Where's the snowflake? Oh, there's part of the snowflake. There we go. Yay! Now I can go rescue Tiny Tim from freezing to death. This is not how this story goes. Just reiterating that again. He's not feeling well. A new toy might bring him some joy.
Okay. I'm still not feeling good, though. There! Now look what your kindness has done! But don't rest yet. Tiny Tim's still sick. He needs medicine. You'll have to take it from those ice gremlins and give it back to Scrooge. Here, you can put the pills in this. Oh good, another glass bottle, because that worked so well the first time. Yep, okay. This family's tenacity in the face of poverty moves me greatly. They're just standing there. The, these kids don't get special treats too often. I'll give him one. If I had one. It's time his family had a proper holiday feast. Yeah, Scrooge is still being a jerk. Huh. Oh, goody two-shoes. Just give up now. You're doomed to fail. That wasn't very nice. Hmm. Oh, look, I made a, a knife. The weights are missing. No, it did not. Or he just doesn't care. Like, like, not that he's, like, he's just doing what everybody else is doing as opposed to doing it sort of on purpose, you know? <laughs> we can't, we have to be good to, to kill the gremlins. That's part of the issue. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to be here? What way out here? Oh. If I give milk to the cat in this pitcher, he'll just spill it. Got it. Okay. Again, cats really shouldn't have milk, especially adult cats. It's not good for them. Why does Scrooge's cat have the pine cone from the Cratchit's house? All right, creepy oven. Can I have my cookie now? Stella's stove sure is hot. I could quickly roast a goose here for the whole Cratchit family. But that oven is creepy! Oh, you want our cookie made of flour, egg, and salt? What a treat. <laughs> there was salt on top of it. It's like a pretzel shaped like a gingerbread man. <laughs> But probably not as good. Okay. Those are weird things to have inside a clock. I should take time to fix his leg. Why? Is that harp for one of the other dwarves or gnomes? Yep. That's a weird key. Brass key, what's that for? Is that for this? Oh, yep it is. That's a weird key. Why is there a slot machine in this alley? This game is so weird. It really is. It is like a Christmas fever dream. I just killed that soldier. That was real nice of me. A living... Oh. Choo -choo. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Why did you fall on your butt? What is going on? 
I don't understand. This would make more sense if those colors made a difference. Weird. Wait, that brought it to the same place! I think I have to go to all the little houses. I'm confused. No, I don't think I want to go that way. I think I want to go that way. Do I? No. I have no idea which way I need to go. Not that way. This way? And go over the mountain. No, this is just going in a circle. And that is also just going in a circle. Where do we go that way? Wait a minute, are those houses changing the colors of some of the things? No. The pink smoke. Wait a minute. I need to read the directions. Lead the train past the houses of every color. Once the train has passed a house, its tunnel will glow that color. Touch the yellow tracks to change the direction. No, see, when you pass a house, it turns to smoke that color, and then that color is the tunnel you come out of. Shush. So you need to go past the blue house last. Where's the blue house? How do I get there from here? Yellow. Okay, so that one brings me there. And I come out of that one. I wonder if I go this way. And you go that way. I think. And then I come out of the red tunnel. It's very weird. And then I come out of the green tunnel. I think I go this way. Where's the green tunnel? No, I have to pass the red one that time. There's the green tunnel. There's the green tunnel. But that puts me past the pink one. I want to go through the green one. How do I do that? I need to not go past the pink tunnel. Where's this one going to put me? That one's going to put me there. But I'm still going past the green... Oh, but I can go past the blue one. But then I go past the green one. So I need that one. I think, I think that's right. I can go past the pink. And then I go past the blue. And then I go past the yellow. Can I go that way? And I go in there. And then I'll come out blue. Oh, I think I did it right. Yay! Thank you, Ot. I wasn't paying attention. Also, that would be a fun game to play with IRL. And here's the slot machine that takes cameos for some reason. And gives you actual gold coins. Why do I need gold coins? I mean, besides like, the oh, I have to buy this stupid goose. That is way too many coins for a goose. Heaven's sakes. Oh, salt and pepper too, I guess. That, that still... Wait. Okay, here we go. You go on there, and then you season with salt and pepper. I mean, it's kind of dry if you just do it that way, but I guess it's better than nothing. Ding dong! Your goose is cooked! I mean, dinner's ready! Bizarre. That does not look like a goose. That looks like a turkey. Roasted Christmas goose. I know, right? Yay! Food for dinner! Hooray! I'm getting hungry too. I think when Christmas present is over, we're going to be, uh... You've shown that kindness can be a powerful force. The projector's fixed! Now, use it on those gremlins! Okay, as I was saying, I think when present is over, uh, unless that's the end, I'm going to be done. Actually, I will be done if it is the end, too. Alright, so we melt you and get the medicine before it falls into the fire. Which is good. Alright, there's one over here. And that's so gross. 
melting the little goblins. Ah, uh, there was one in here behind the elephant. I know they really do. Like we're we're such bad people. And then there was one this way. Oh, he went in the toy shop. Yum. Goblin guts all over all the Christmas presents. Oh, now we have to find it. That's kind of a cool Santa. Crown weight pocket watch. Mug binoculars accordion. Mask. Shell. Golden apple pipe. There's golden apple. Again, I think that's called a concertina. What is this? Oh, the pill is in here. Okay. Gotcha. There's a pipe. A yellow dot and a watch and a green dot. Uh, what am I looking for? A oh, wait. Oh, I have to wait. <laughs> that is something I needed then. That's what I thought. Mug. I have to wait for it to do the thing. There's a shell. That's actually a fossil, but it's the fossil of a shell, so. I suppose that counts. Oh, what else am I looking for? Mask. A crown. That's a cute crown. And we also need... The kitty cat was in the box! That's not a good place for a kitty cat to be. And there's the pill! Ta-da! And the last one, oh, was in the drain over here. I kill him. So messed up. So now we put the pills back in the glass bottle. We give it to Scrooge, who's about to fall. My dear back. boy, I've got a cure for you. Take this medicine and soon you'll be healthy. And happy again. Oh, thank you, Mr. Scrooge. You wouldn't believe the nightmares I've had. I feel so much better now. God bless us, everyone. My uncle's house looks warm and cozy now. I wonder if this is the end of my journey. Nope. All right, we'll see what he has to say, and then we're going to be done. I am the ghost of Christmas, yet to come. While your courage changed the course of your Uncle Scrooge's present life, his time is running out. He has precious little left with his wife and friends. That's how life works. But all is possible on Christmas Eve. If you visit the future and collect the sand of time, your uncle will be granted a longer life. We shall meet again in the future. Okay. I think we're going to stop here though because I'm hungry and I need to have food. So let us quit out of here. Yes. Nope, wrong thing. There we go. If glitter sand made you live longer, cosplayers would be immortal. <laughs> That's cute. All right, so. We will finish the rest of that and then the bonus episode and then we will be done with a Christmas carol such as it is. <laughs> it's not really a Christmas carol. It's just got the characters in it. But yeah, so uh, that was fun. And the next game you'll be happy to know is a Hans Christian Andersen uh, story, The Tin Soldier, which for some reason also has the Nutcracker in it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So um, that that's the thing that's going to happen next. Oh, I, I'm 
100% positive that this one will have a uh, happy ending. Yeah. And that's what's happening right now. I bet you were. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Merry Christmas to all. Yeah, I little Amber seems like she would have strong opinions on things like that. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night and I'm fate touched and I will see you later. Bye.